Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So it's winter time. We actually had a little snow here the other day, um, but it's time that we're thinking about spring and summer and what we're gonna do on the farm this year. Y'all know we bought a bigger farm, so we've got more space to do more things. And one of the things that we've decided we're gonna increase our production on this year uh, is broilers and our meat chickens. Some of the things going on in the world, we think that broilers, is, it's an easy thing for us to scale up. We've got the space to do it. Um, we got most of the equipment to do it, but we got one piece of equipment that we're gonna work on to get ready to be able to handle more chicks. And that's our brooder space. We've done a couple of videos on our other brooders, the smaller ones with the lift up lids, and a lot of folks have bought plans for those, and we really appreciate that. And if you're interested in a set of plans for a smaller brooder, uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description down below and you can pick up a set of plans on how to build those brooders. But anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna put Jamie Welburn, our new uh, team member here at Sheraton Park Farms, we're gonna put him on this project. I'm gonna let Jamie introduce himself and we're gonna give him the camera and let him film himself uh, building this brooder. We're gonna increase our capacity, we're gonna more than double our capacity to um, brood chicks. I think that's gonna be a, uh, that's gonna be a big step for us to be able to you know, do more here on the farm and generate some more income to uh, you know, make this thing work. So hang out with us for a little while. I want you to meet Jamie Welburn, our new uh, team member here at Sheraton Park Farms. And uh, we'll show him building that brood and we'll come back and we'll show you all the features of that thing and uh, kind of let you know what's going on. So stick around with us for a little bit. So uh, Chuck had asked me to do a little introduction about myself. Uh, my name's Jamie Welburn. Um, I grew up here in Wilkes County, North Carolina, um, and for the past uh, three years, I've been working full-time as a paramedic uh, for a local EMS agency, um, and uh, recently have decided that uh, I'm going to leave that career and pursue a uh, full-time job uh, farming. Uh, so currently, I work uh, here with... Uh, Chuck and Sandra at uh, Sheraton Park Farms, and I also work at uh, CNS Farms up in the Brushy Mountains of uh, Wilkes County, North Carolina. Um, so you'll be seeing some more of me here and there around uh, Sheraton Park Farms and on some of Chuck's videos. Uh, really enjoy the style of farming that they do up here with the regenerative agriculture and uh, treating animals ethically and everything like that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to learning a whole lot from them and I uh, really enjoy working for them so far They've been great to me and uh, great to work for uh, It's just a beautiful place up here um, if you're ever in the area and uh, Are wanting to buy some meat or uh, other products off of Chuck and Sandra definitely stop by this farm up here It's a beautiful place that they've got here uh, in uh, West Northwestern North Carolina um, so we're going to start on this chicken brooder here. Um, as you can see, the uh, I've kind of got these concrete blocks laying out the, uh, the general uh, footprint of the uh, structure. It's going to be eight foot by eight foot um, and a four foot tall peak on the center. Um, doors on both sides to access from and then one flip down side to be able to clean everything out. Um, so uh, Chuck had found this design on the internet and uh, asked me to see if I could build it. Uh, it's supposed to hold about 250 chicks or so I believe. Uh, so we're going to see if we can get this done today. So I thought I'd show you a cool trick using a uh, speed square. Uh, I'm gonna be cutting out a hole here to put a two by four down in to attach to this to go up to add some added strength. Uh, but as far as getting this hole exactly square and everything, uh, I can use my speed square to kind of help me out there. And so what I've done is I've marked me over a line at exactly two foot. We're gonna put three of these in, one at two foot, one at four foot, one at six foot. So I've got me a line here at two foot. 
what I'll do first is I'll just extend that line on a little bit further out. Okay. And now two by fours aren't exactly two by fours. They're technically inch and a half by three and a half. So down here on the bottom of our speed square, we've got some numbers and those correspond to inches. So the first one right here doesn't have one, but that's inch and a half, and then you got two and three inches. So what I'll do is I'll come in to inch and three quarter, and I'll mark a line on this side. Then I'll flip it around, and I'll go into inch and three quarter, and I'll mark a line on this side. Next, we know that the dimension of this in is an inch and a half as well. So, right here are little grooves, and this one corresponds to inch and a half. So, what I'll do is I'll take and I'll find my first mark, and I'll set my pencil in that little groove, and I'll pull the speed square across. Okay? Then the next one, we know that it's an inch and a half wide for the two by four. So we've got an inch and a half off the side to account for this two by four. And now we're gonna go another inch and a half up to three inches. And we'll drag it across again, make us another line. And then we'll just cut that out. And it'll be good to slide straight down in there. So I'm going to do a quick overview and then I'll let, uh, I'm going to let Jamie show you all some of the features on this thing. But <clears throat> overall, we built an eight foot by eight foot uh, brooder, um, shingle roof. This is going to be a uh, brooder that we're going to set up <clears throat> outside of uh, our barn. Uh, so it's going to be outside. We've got the shingle roof on it and we've got a couple of doors that we can flip up and open and some other cool stuff. So I'm going to let Jamie show you all what he's done to this thing. But uh, again, this is going to increase our capacity at minimum, minimum, we can brood, um, I think, at least 250 chicks at a time in this thing for up to four weeks. I'd feel very comfortable with that. So, uh, you know, 250 chicks at a time, four batches and you're at a thousand birds already. Um, and so this is, again, this is going to be huge for our um, ability to uh, do more birds. Action! <laughs> I always want to say that. So the overall dimensions of this brooder are eight foot by eight foot. And on each side, we've got two hatch style doors that we can raise up. They're both covered in shingles, so we can place this outside, even in the elements. And you can access from this side or the other side via the hatch door. We'll take you around to the other side now to show you. This back wall is solid back here. It doesn't come down. But over on this side, we've got two 
separate doors here, a smaller door to be able to catch chicks. And then we've also made it to where we can open up this entire door to make it easy for clean out later on. As well, we decided to put us a two gang outlet box in the center. It's got a total of four outlets there and it's run out to just a mail-in drop cord so that we can plug it into the drop cord later. Both of the ends, uh, gable ends on this brooder uh, are made out of a um, chicken wire covered uh, with uh, plastic, uh, but that should allow for plenty of ventilation and everything. And then we're gonna hang a couple of, uh, we're gonna do a couple of more two by fours in here? Yeah, we're gonna end up putting another two by four across on both of these uh, rafters so that we can hang brooder lights in here. So we'll have the capacity to put four or six lights in here, I guess if we want to. And then plenty of space for, you know, feeders and drinkers. And, uh, you know, again, Jamie done an outstanding job with this. And you built this from a picture. You just saw a picture that we'd found the picture online and sent it to you. And then you were able to just kind of sketch yeah. that thing up and put it together. The other folks had, uh, the sides are made out of two by 12. And in the picture, they did have one more two by 12 going up. But that made for a small event up here, so we decided to just do two by two two by twelves, and then leave the rest of this open for ventilation. Yeah, and we're primarily brooding chicks during the warm weather. We'll we we'll usually get a, a batch in sometime in late February, but you know, primarily we're brooding chicks during warm weather, so not a big deal. We want more ventilation for them anyway, and then we keep plenty of shavings so we can get that um, uh, you know that composting effect to the shavings, and that provides a little bit of heat as well. How are we gonna move it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're hoping that we can uh, put the forks of the New Holland under it, put a strap around the whole thing and raise it up, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's going to be the challenge, going to be getting this thing moved. All right, good deal. Looks nice. Thank you, man. Get the viewfinder. So there it is. Bigger brooder. I don't know if it's going to be better. I still don't know how the heck we're going to move this thing. It's big. I mean, the New Holland will move it. It's just, it's eight foot by eight foot. How? It'll go out the door. Won't it? Yeah, it'll go out yeah, the door. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I told we were talking a while ago. I think it would have been it would have been better if we could have done the foundation and maybe built it where it's going to be. But it is nice to be able to do it inside. We've had a little <clears throat> had a little heat and you know you had some snow. Had yeah. some snow the other day, so you know it works out good. But biggest challenge with this thing, you think? Uh, probably the roofing. The roofing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We decided to go with shingle roof because, you know, it is going to be outside. So we needed something long term. Um, tin, we decided not to do tin, you know, just and, and we had some tar paper. So, you know, kind of use what you got. But anyway, but I think that's going to do it. Like we always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.